Lots of people ask me, am I a modern day, real life Dr. Frankenstein? And I guess I am. I'm, I'm producing a potential monster. I'm a brain builder. I, I build artificial brains. In 1992, I had the idea of using a new kind of microchip that could be programmed. And I wondered what would happen if these chips could be programmed to wire themselves up in a random way. Most wouldn't work, but some would be far more efficient than is humanly designable. I would then have the building blocks to create an artificial brain. Now in the short to middle term, say the next 30, 40 years, probably brain building will be a wonderful benefit to humanity, like household cleaner robots, uh, friendship robots, whatever. The problem is, is longer term. Uh, computers will just become more and more powerful, they'll take control of, of our daily lives to an increasing extent until something bad happens. For me, it's not a question of if, it's a question of when artificial intelligence levels reach the human level. And then the big question of do, do we allow these artifacts to go beyond human level? This issue is real, it's coming if you make an analogy with uh, the nuclear physicists in the 30s. They knew that it would be possible to make a single bomb powerful enough to destroy a whole city, but they just weren't listened to. So they persisted, and within a year or two, the Manhattan Project was started that built the bomb. I'll be thinking about it in a, in a rational kind of way before I go to sleep. And then I'll wake up sobbing, because, you know, Jesus Christ, what am I doing? You know, how many people are going to die out of this, potentially? And, and that, that's scary as hell. What is more important than the survival of the human species? And on the other hand, you have the potential of creating creatures that would be godlike. It's, it's absolutely magnificent. These two ideologies are irreconcilable. You have all the options for a major war. The technologies are there to, to create just enormous damage. I, I won't see it. I'll, I'll be dead in 30 years, and that's not enough time for this whole scenario to unfold. But my grandchildren will see it. They will suffer from it. They, they will be destroyed by it, potentially.